Hey, this is Tony Green with Greenhaven Realty and the We Love Louisville Clemens pages. I'm here today with Brooke Eagle. Uh, Brooke is the associate editor of Forsyth Magazine. So Brooke, thanks for hanging out with me today. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. So we normally do these live and in person, but uh, given our current situation, we've moved to Zoom meetings and uh, still kind of getting used to it. So if we have any technical difficulties today, just uh, bear with me. I apologize, but we'll get through yeah. it. Yeah, no problem. Well, cool. So for Scythe Magazine, you guys are normally the ones doing the interviews, I believe. So we're kind of turning the tables on you. Yeah. And, uh, giving you a chance to tell more about you and, and your company. So tell us a little bit about Forsyth Magazine. Yeah, no, this is this is interesting being on um on this side of it. I we recently started a podcast and I've been um hosting it and so I'm definitely usually in in your shoes doing the the interviewing. Right. But yeah, so Forsyth um Forsyth magazines we have four publications. Um most people are aware of our our most popular two, Forsyth Woman and Forsyth Family, uh that come out once a month and then we have a wedding magazine, Forsyth Women Engaged, that comes out twice a year, and a uh, Forsyth Community magazine that comes out once a year that focuses on the Louisville Clemens area. Um, okay. And the reason for that is because we, uh, Keela, the publisher of Forsyth Woman, who's also my mom, and um, Robin Brawley, the publisher of Forsyth Family, um, and me, we're all from the Louisville Clemens area. We're, you know, involved with the Louisville Clemens Chamber, um, so we kind of we're all from here. So that's kind of our, our yeah. home place. Okay. Gotcha. Well, um, so how, how did the company get started? Um, so my mom, Keela, she worked for Sara Lee for Haynes for about close to 25 years and was laid off back in, I think, Oh, four, 2004. Okay. And, um, she, she tried being a stay-at-home mom for about two weeks. <laughs> I was in middle school. My brother was in elementary school, and she's like, no, <laughs> not trying to do that. So she uh, – I think a lot of moms are thinking the same thing right now. Yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure. So she um, was approached by a guy. My dad used to own a body shop. He retired, uh, and this guy approached her about selling advertising for, like, a car magazine. And so because of my dad's connection, she, she thought, oh, well, I could – you know, she's great at sales. So she thought she could do that. So um, really long story short, he just really loved her and um, approached her with an idea to start a women's magazine. Um, and she kind of took it and ran with it. She took the name that he suggested, but she just had totally different ideas than he did. So she um, took the, bought the name for Scythe Woman from him. And um, yeah, it's kind of, the rest is history. We started, our first issue was 24 pages. Um, and that was in September of 2005 was our very first issue at Forsyth Woman. Wow. Um, and it was like partially black and white. Yeah, um, it's almost 15 the, years. That's awesome. Yeah, this is our 15 year anniversary. And it's kind of funny. Our, um, I remember I helped design some of the first, very first ad articles in the very first issue, like just on my mom's computer being in high school. Right. Um, so yeah, times have changed. We obviously have a professional graphic designer. Uh, <laughs> now and we're all color and our current page count is anywhere from like 132 to 146 pages a month so yeah that's we've grown for sure yeah definitely um a success story for a small business here in our local yeah. area it's very cool yeah and so for yeah. Seth family uh the, our sister magazine for Seth family the similar story robin brawley um, was also laid off from sarah lee i think two years after my mom was and they you know had been close friends were in the same church and things like that and um, so they decided to start a family magazine, a sister publication, um, a couple years later. And also the rest is history with that. Actually, my my family, my mom, my dad, my brother and I, and then Robin, Brawley and her husband and her two girls, the eight of us were on the very first cover of Forsyth Family um, back in 07, I guess. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. And then the very next cover of Forsyth Family was um, Chris Paul. And that was like a super oh. popular. And people were like selling that on eBay and stuff, which was I'm cool. sure. So, yeah. <laughs> and I believe, so you were in high school when your mom first started and you were kind of helping yeah. with. Yeah, the, yeah. The I was well. helping. I was, um, I was in high school and I used to write a column. I think it was called Teen Talk. Um, 
super embarrassing. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I've always been involved as far as like a little bit of writing, um, helping like distribute the magazines and things like that. You know, I grew up around it. So well, we we promise we won't we won't look it up. <laughs> I thankfully I think that those are not on the uh, online <laughs> archives because they're too old. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Well, so you've been working in the business um, from the get go. Did you actually go to school and like study journalism or anything like that? So, yeah, actually, kind of funny story. I went to um, school. I went to High Point University, and I didn't. Both of my parents are entrepreneurs, and um, in hindsight, I wish I would have gone and got an entrepreneurship degree. I think that would be really cool. But I just really, I was eighteen. You know, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, I knew I wanted to eventually you know, take over the magazine when my mom retired, but I wasn't really sure that we could work together. So I thought, you know what, I'll just get a degree in um, education and be a teacher for a few years and see how I like that. And then kind of ease on to, uh, you know, be with the magazine and take over when mom retires. And so I have a degree in elementary education, Okay. Um, but I did my student teaching. I student taught sixth grade and it was just like really not for me. <laughs> it was really, <laughs> but I always tell people, I think it was kind of, um, I think it was kind of meant to be because it just really makes me not take my job for granted because I was so not happy with teaching. Yeah. Um, and I knew that I, you know, didn't have the passion for it that you need to be a teacher. Right. So, um, so I literally came to my mom crying. I'm like, mom, I, I just don't love it. I can't be a teacher. And she said, well, you're welcome to, you know, work for the magazine. You can sell ads and I'll pay you um, commission, you know, based on how many ads you sell. And I had no sales experience, right. not good at sales. Like my mom is, she's amazing. Um, but I, you know, didn't really have another option at that point that I, that sounded good. So I said, okay. So I started all doing pretty much sales and have, my role has just evolved over the last, I guess, eight years or so now. So, okay. Well, it's funny that you talk about your experience at, with, with student teaching because my wife, she had a similar experience. We both went to Appalachian. That's where we met. Yeah. And so she was doing her student teaching at Fort Bush Elementary and it wasn't long and she's like, I don't, I don't think this is for me. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's uh, rough. It's, I mean, teachers, I admire them a lot because it's, it, it's a lot. They oh, me too. Yeah, they really do. And they they deserve lots of recognition. And I think they're getting it a little more right now with all these parents homeschooling. They're seeing how hard yeah, it is. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Well, um, what are, so with the COVID-19 situation going on right now, what are, how's your business changed or what are some of the challenges you're dealing with? Yeah. So lots of challenges, just like every business, you know, is, is facing right now, but we um, specifically our distribution, we're having to really rework that. Um, so our magazines, you know, in pre COVID times, which seems like forever ago, yeah. um, but we were a free magazine, um, we're free to pick up and we were distributed, um, in about a thousand locations in, in and around Forsyth County. We're in, um, you know, grocery stores, restaurants, gyms, hair salons, um, nail salons, doctor offices. And, you know, obviously most of those type places are closed right now. Closed now. Um, thank goodness grocery stores are not. So we are in lots of grocery stores um, still, but to kind of make up for that distribution that we're lacking, we have, um, we're offering home delivery for people that need it. And we're also, of course, we're getting a lot, people are picking up a lot more magazines at the grocery stores. And then we also have, um, we're doing something new called uh, Neighborhood Ambassadors, so basically, I think we have like 25 of them right now. Basically, people have reached out to us and they live in, um, you know, Clemens West or um, Sherwood Forest or whatever. And they will have, um, we'll take them, you know, several magazines and they'll post on like their next door app or like on the right. neighborhood Facebook page. They're like, hey, I have First Size Woman and First Size Family magazines. When you're out walking, feel free to come pick one up or I can drop one by your house. So Cool. It's definitely kind of a learning curve yeah. with that. But, um, Having to get creative, kind of, that's for sure. Yeah, but it's been fun. We have, um, you know, pretty those neighborhoods, you know, Kernersville, Clemens, Louisville, Winston-Salem, obviously, um, you know, so, and we have a list on our website of the participating neighborhoods so far, and we're kind of continuing to add to that. Um, and then obviously places are going to start opening back up um, at some point, and we'll Yeah, get let's back hope to so. Yeah, I know. Um, what tell us something maybe about your business that 
most people wouldn't know about because I'm sure most people that are watching the video have seen your magazine, know about your magazine because like you said, it's at thousands of, of places that they can pick it up. But yeah. what's something about the business that they might not know about? Um, I would say one of the most common misconceptions that we have is that we uh, all work we all work from home. People think that we we have a pretty big team, but they're mostly independent contractors. Uh, I think people think we have this big like building downtown or something, but um, we all work in our. Uh oh. Yeah. So probably one of the main one of the main things, um, and so we're. Can you hear me? My, I said my internet you froze was unstable. up for a moment. Am I back? Okay. Yeah, I can hear back. you. You're back. Okay. What's the last thing that you heard? Uh, you were talking about working from home. Yeah, so we all work from home. Um, most people don't, they don't have a building somewhere. Um, so yeah, this working from home stuff, it, we're used to it, but um, as far as like the COVID stuff, but it's still very different because we're always yeah. out and about at meetings and stuff. And obviously we're not now. So it's definitely right. an adjustment still. I know you had said something about um, you guys have events and I'm not familiar with those. So tell us about your, I know you can't have them right now, but tell us yeah. about the events. Yeah, we love events. We love um, our, kind of my, our philosophy. We really like to be more than just a print magazine. We like to get to know our readers um, on a more personal basis. So um, two of our main events that, that most people are familiar with is Girls Night Out and Kids Morning Out. First Life Woman hosts Girls Night Out and that's once a month and it's at like a different local restaurant um, and we give away door prizes um, and it's just basically a designated night to hang out with your with your girlfriends, your girlfriends, yeah. your coworkers, your mom, your sister. Um, we've been doing so that for if, Hey, if I show up in drag one night, could I maybe participate? Yeah, of course. We don't turn anybody away. We used to actually have kind of like a following of guys and we're like <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I won't show up in drag. No, but we've been doing that for like 10, 10 years or so. It's really popular. We have anywhere from like 75, sometimes 100, 150 women come. Oh, know. wow. Um, so they're really big. And we're actually doing, if you go to our Facebook page, we're doing um, virtual girls night out. Okay. Um, we did one a couple weeks ago and we'll do another one in May. Uh, so it's still, you, it's obviously fun, but you know, different. Yeah. Are you doing that with like Facebook live or zoom or how are you so doing? It's kind of, we're kind of open to different things, but for right now, we're just, we're encouraging people like, okay, on this night, set up it's a date to zoom or FaceTime your girlfriends, one, one other girl, you know, a group of y'all, whatever, and then screenshot your call and then tag for Scythe Mags. And that, and that gets you as an entry to win. So it's just kind of like really encouraging you to take that time to have some virtual um, girl time. And then we have like a virtual bartender um, that did a fun little video. Um, so yeah, some different things in the works for that. And then Kids Morning Out is our monthly event for First Life Family. Um, and same thing, free event, door pri we give away door prizes. It's at places like Salem Gymnastics, um, you know, Collidium um you know kids places yeah cool cool well so for someone that might want to be interviewed in your magazine what would they need to do how do they how do they get in your magazines yeah so we definitely have some different options i know in for scythe woman we have a it's a newer column called um in the spotlight and uh jen brown facilitates that but she features like three sometimes four women a month um that don't necessarily have that anything special just that they are awesome people froze up again oh Can you you're back. i'm back froze up on me again <laughs> um so yeah the in the spotlight feature for first Seth woman is definitely an option and it has if you go to our digital edition on our website, um, or if you go to the grocery store and pick up a copy, you can see where to um, contact us to, to be considered to be featured in that. Um, we have a women on the move section in Forsyth Woman that's kind of similar, but we've been doing that forever. Um, as far as businesses being featured, um, we definitely do some different things as far as nonprofits, but um, for for-profit businesses, 
we that's more of like a if you advertise type thing um just because we are free to pick up so the advertisers um you know pay our bills so sure. yeah yeah understood well so how do people other than picking up the magazine you know in a in one of your distribution outlets where do they find you on facebook instagram yeah so we're on facebook um forsyth woman and forsyth family magazines i think is our I don't think I know that's our tag on Facebook yeah. and then on Instagram, it's just at Forsyth mags. Okay. Um, and we're really, especially with all of the COVID stuff, we're really amping up our, our social media. So we're, um, we have a lot of fun stuff going on on yeah. Facebook and Instagram. Okay. So. What, so I know, and I know you mentioned you're, you're doing a podcast now, so where can yeah. they find your podcast? Yeah. So the podcast is called the Forsyth magazines podcast. And, um, it's, we release, it's a little different right now, but typically we release a new episode every Thursday. Okay. Um, and it's on Spotify. If you just search for Scythe magazines, it pops right up. It's on Apple podcasts. If you search for Scythe magazines, mm -hmm. and it's also just on our website, um, for Scythe woman.com for Scythe family magazine.com. Um, there's a little like podcast icon on the top bar and it just pops up with all the episodes. You can just click and listen. So yeah. Gotcha. I think we have about 15 episodes up at this point. So yeah, well, yeah. very cool. Well, well, Brooke, it was uh, such a pleasure uh, finding out a little bit more about you and for Scythe magazines today. And yeah. just want to thank you again for uh, spending a few minutes with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Well, folks, that's it for today. Uh, we'll see you soon.